Hello and welcome to this video where I build and paint the Stung Sturmgeschütz 3 Ausführung B. Also known as the Stug, it's a kit from Tamiya in 135th scale with a few photo etched parts. Here are the lovely decals. I will use a few. I will not replicate a scheme from this card, I will just make up my own, as I usually do. Here are the photo etched parts. It has really nice details, like the, the rivets on top of the, the hull. Not all of the really fine detail will remain. I'm painting in lacquers, so not spray painting. That always results in the loss of some detail. But let's build. Here's the metallic cannon part. I actually don't know what makes a difference between the plastic one and the metallic one. But these vents are really nice uh, with their small detail. So here I'm glad they went with a metallic photo etched part. As you can see here, I've skipped forward, well, quite a bit. I've 
primed most of the tank in mahogany brown. I put some Tamiya body on some exterior parts of the top of the tank to represent cast iron texture. On the back is um, some planks to hold storage, which I will be making in the next episode. I added an antenna and I've painted the inside. You can't see much of the inside in the end result because the hatches I've kept three hatches open but it's it's dark and it's really small on the other hand it's really nice to do and I've used some decals from um, machining Krieger kits just to add some more realistic detail and this is not my prettiest job but it is more than sufficient, I think. <laughs> and let's assemble the whole tank. To get the top on it was a bit fiddly because you have to tilt it to get it over the cannon but you, you have to also look out for the scope which is going through the hole in the front, the open hatch. The fit was not that great but I got it in the end. As you can see on the left, I've there's a um, design I've made in Photoshop. It uses uh, German Grey Primer Red. I forgot the exact name of it. Dark Red and White. For the underside, I've used a um, darker color, almost black. This hull red is often used as, um, as a primer color but I used it as the main color. I also placed the, um, the decals on it from the kit and from Maschinenkrieger. Just scan in a lot and try out where it looks good. And in the, in the design it all looks very clean, but it, it all gets um, dirty wash in the end and mud.
here's the oil wash I was talking about earlier. I use it to to make the tank filthy, but also to blend the colors, to, to unify the colors, to give them all a more a brownish tint. Especially when you see the white, it's uh, it stands out. It's much too clean, it has to get dirty. It also helps to create some kind of shadow, especially under the instruments, on the side skirts. Okay, on to maybe one of my favorite parts of the building of model kits, putting on decals. It's always nice to see some really tiny detail on the kit, which makes it more realistic. And here's a very old, ooh, it dares, a really old Maschinenkrieger shield. It's from a kit Hornisse. I've also built that kit. It has a video on my channel. I thought it looked really good on this kit. And with a little bit of care, it fits really good. Oh yeah, and here I did not use actually a, a decal, but on the decal sheet of the Sturmgeschütz, I cut out the letters, which are always on, on the mostly on the on the bottom of the decal sheet, Stuck 3, Ausführung B, like some sort of serial number.
This is the first time I made a tank. So I've never done this many wheels and um, the, the, the track before. This one is, I'm painting red because it goes as a spare on the side of the tank. So it blends in a little bit more. Also really fun part of the painting process is chipping. Here I'm using a sponge to make really small scratches and paint loss. So I'm mainly focusing on edges and this middle part where I presume all the crew gets out and stands on first. And I'm following up with a paintbrush to combine some chipping and make some scratches. Just like the decals, it's a way of giving the tank some realism, some, some detail and visual interest. Like it's lived in, worn, used and not a uniform blob of paint. already can see some stowage I made um, which I will be putting on in the next episode In the last part of this video I will be putting on a, a wash to simulate some rust. As you can see in this shot I've only primed the tracks which I will be painting making muddy in the next episode. I've never 
done that before. So um, I was very curious for that process. If it would come out realistic or if I would mess up. And finally, I'm using a lead pencil to replicate some shiny metal bits. Okay, in the next episode, I will be destroying the kiss. No, I will be repositioning this plank and I've shortened it from two planks to one. I will be placing the stowage and also trying to make a cloth to cover some stowage. That was really fun. Giving the tank some mud, the tracks painted and of course some final completed shots. So, hope you like this video and see you in the next one.